Jax into the Volley Bear, which is Leah into Asir. And I think for G2 to have a bit more agency in the game and being able to fight back, this is a much greater middle ground. I think last game they relied. aware that there is a bear in his jungle. I'm going to try and catch him out here. Health bar is okay for Mickey X and Hantan, but remember they're only level one. LeBrov level two walking in to support his jungle. Yike hovering here. Will Caps do anything about it? Well, he's been poked out too, so it's just what you see is what you get as a miss smite. Shao takes it off him. Yike could have had that, but now Mickey X with the re-engage by himself with Ignite down is hoping for the best, but he's just given first blood over to Ice. A bit of a whoopsie from Yike leads to a whoopsie from G2. Reset to go top once more. So, Caps, though, this Ooh. is not the position that I think you want to be in. You might have to flash over this. He sees Shao now, flashes over the Emperor's Divide. You get stunned up. It's a good call, otherwise he was just dead again. As meanwhile, on the bottom side, Lebrov has overstepped. Ice was not here. Han Summer's given a kill. I was about to say, BDS, your early game is looking as good as last one, but that overstep... The map that a little bit longer and gets caught out. We'll get a replay of it just here. So, he saw the Mickey. Hadn't actually reset, and then the Hex Flash. Oh. And Labrov, oh, doesn't quite get behind the wall as well. Quiet. That's heartbreaking yeah. for Labrov, but now Ice We come back in, no level 6 here for the 80 carries. Dredge line away, but Shao's in. Look at his damage, Sky Splitter Auto. Ice matches it, but in the end, it's Labrov to get it. As Hans Hummer also flashes away, but Culling is available. Ice is ready to lock him down. Aqua Prison there. Stormbringer turns off the turret. Hans Summer is just dead doo-doo. Ice picks up yet another... And we are punishing mistakes all through this early game. It gives BDS an edge once again. Solution, Shao now nearby again. And in on the analyst says they said focus spot. That's exactly what BDS are doing, but Dagda, who's nearby? Caps is here, has the Weaver's Wall. Culling is there, Weaver's Wall is going to cut them off. Now for the range on Han Summer, they separate Shao from the rest of his team. Caps is in a 1v2, but the Death Rocket gets over the wall. Mickey X sacrifices his life, but will it be in vain? Yes, it will. Most available, all out is there as well. As I said, BB was the only person ahead, but how much longer is that going to last? Under the turret plating, Ice is going to take one before they go for the engage. The Aqua Prism perfect as well. Ice tanks up then, Lebrov, but it doesn't turn onto a full-on dive. Meanwhile, on the top side, they commit. Explosive Carto separates the Minuave still thin. The rain from Han Summer through the rocket's good, but Mickey has to sacrifice his life. Hans might get excited, but Nuke is now here to separate, turn and burn. The Empress Divide is there, but Hans is still at the end of getting excited here. So G2 going for another one. Yike jumps in, gets a stun up. Nuke flashes away again as well. BB, by the way, died off screen. Nuke gets himself a grass proc. Hans doesn't get the kill. Caps does. We are starting to build up the pace yet again here in this game. While both teams are just cross mapping for whatever. Nuke didn't kill the army in the West. And how sometimes it can do nothing. I think it's impossible to do nothing when you have a lead like this and you're about to get first turret blood on said Lucian as well. Well, the problem is Adam's about to die again. Ah. So... Braga's taking it all, I guess, and Cap's coming through. That's good burn, but Mickey... Mickey dies. They haven't finished the kill off yet. They reset turret aggro. Zap avoided. Hans takes two on the way out. This is not clean. New coming through. Hans under turret now and threat again. New comes in for round two of the same robbery. They get the kill eventually as Yike is coming through. This might turn into a repeat dive. No flash available for Nuke. Is he coming into his death side? Big jump there. Zap as well. Yike gets a kill and flashes away. Is the title away from LeBron? Couldn't help out. We continue to dance and G2 get in the turret topside. Claw something back. Even broken. Asian. Mickey going to be spotted on a ward. Yike as well on a ward. But G2 are like, hang on a minute, we're going to bait them in. Caps comes in once more. Shao locked up against said wall as the poke comes through. He Stormbringer's out while Ice and LeBron can't get in the fight. Kiting away, almost getting hooked in by Mickey. He was huge as Nuke now joins in as well. Sky Splitter for a bit of extra poke as G2 holds strong as a four-man unit. Note the top in separating, turning, and burning. Getting down one target as quickly as possible. On to Mickey again. Cullen comes through. The damage amplified. Mickey dead! Ice with his fourth kill. That's what you want to see out of your Lucian. That's actually not going to go up towards topside. G2 want this fight. I'm going to fully force it, as you said, though. Nuke can join in. Good Aqua Prison. There's the wall to come through as well. Shao going to Stormbringer out. The Tidal Wave zones up all four, but the explosive cast and the Nuke indeed. But it ain't the mid laner of BDS. It's the Nuke from Hans Summer and Caps. Man, where did they go, Dagda? And they just got absolutely... Gonna help out, Shao. It splits him from the rest of G2, yeah. but Cap sends himself oh. on over. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Said, nah, never mind. We don't need to look, because Nuke might just die. He accepts his fate. Sun Tara's up. Mickey with a perfect hook. Zap is there. Ulti burn, but Hans Summer says it's my turn indeed. G2 
dives to set up four plays, but we just haven't really seen Shao grouping up with Lavrov and New. Right Culling onto Han Sama. Look, he takes all the damage. Shao gets to the back one. Sky splitter, Han Sama down. Now Stormbringer brings Yike to the ground. BDS with two big picks. Broken Blade came in late, but it's a setup from Lucianami. If you're reliant on Lavrov, no bloody problem. And that's what exactly they needed to do. Get the rest of the team with ice. And he grabs him by the scruff of the neck, says, let's bloody go, lads. And now, Baron is on the card. You have no jungler. Reeve, gone low, gone the down. Body slam and a barrel roll, an explosive cast. Get another one, hits the ground. Ice picks up yet another. BDS on the Baron. It's only Caps and Mickey, but as Tag just said, there ain't no smite in G2. You're gonna have to be polite. 3K, down it goes. And BDS, swing it back. This ain't gonna reels a little bit from what was a very unsuccessful fight from G2, but the success from BDS. Let's quickly talk as Mickey might be caught out. Acro Prison behind in case he turns away, but he was still CC'd up. Zap there as well. Caps with a good seismic shot back. Stormbringer out of the way. Wait, BDS, you're too deep. I'm about to cobble him and you stop it. Getting excited as Hans Summer and Show. Ice run away. G2 might be low, but they're not forgotten here as the ultimate comes through the weave as well. Says the Shao. What nothing else could. You go nowhere. A shutdown has broken blade zones them off. Hexgate rig using so well. He's gone into brush. BDS don't know. Ice walking in thinking, hang on a minute, where's this guy? The all out burn. One versus three, broken blade. I respect the grind, but now I know your story, Baron. Say like Mickey, yes, you got the Aegis and the Warden's Mail coming through, but if you're tanking that full culling, you're gonna know all about it. Flash, Mickey. Oh, wow. Pick. Actually, it's on the ice. Step charges there. This is what we said. Need to be picked. LeBron and Ice have been tagged away, but no one from G2 can get nearby. Caps ran forward. He's going to get tagged out as well as the all out from Broken Blade. He's disengaged. Shao is unstoppable. BDS. Nice pick on to Mickey after G2 initiated. Adam was standing on that pink ward that towards the Baron. Looks like it's going to be Dragon Control for G2 in trade, or maybe the TP into Bolin from Caps, actually. They want the tier 2 tower. Dagger spots them out. Baron Adam is completely this gone. Is so this is has to be fought. And shale has gone so low. Nuke stepping up. He wants to see if he can make the hero play, but they need Ice to get the damage with the calling. After picking up nothing in the side lane, after having no interest there, BDS are like, let's 5v5. But Nuki has flash and ulti available. Shao on the dragon, immediately at 5k. Denying the soul from G2 is a must hit for BDS to find a win as Mickey stops the culling. Death charge up as well. Explosive cast separates G2 though, and they can't kill Ice. The damage is so far away. It's Ice again with a triple. And BDS deny the soul, find the fight. It just feels like they're too damn strong to deal with. This Caps is feeling like he can go. Oh, out of range. Broken Blade tanking up for the time being. Nukes damage insane though, even with two and a half items. Broken Blade gonna get culling as well, unstoppable, but now shielded behind. Yaiku also goes to half HP. Inhibitor turret gonna go down. Caps running for his life from Adam. Trying to defend too, but Adam's so tanky. Taking up, explosive cards eventually hits Caps. Goes golden, explosive bomb that flies through. Won't matter either, as Crippaloon heals them up. Caps gets chased to the end of the earth. It's revenge for last game, Dagda, and BDS are serving this red hot. You have nothing left here. Hansama needs to try and clear the wave, but just can't quite get in. Now we'll get a couple of auto attacks, so the wave will be cleared. BDS just want to try and rotate up to get this top lane inhibitor. While it's still a four versus five, they won't be able to end here. But they got so much in the base of G2. What an achievement it would be to run this a one and one. You're right at death's doorstep, at least G2's death in game number two. Broken Blade tanking up for the time being. ISO not afraid to step forward with the GA. Nuke now setting up the bottom wave as they're going to break all three parts of this base. They need to buy time for caps. Seven seconds until the G2 mid laner is back up, but BDS are just going to back away. The, there is a TP ward just behind them if they Where really want it? to try and overextend, but... Oh, but they're going for Mickey instead. Don't worry about it, because Death Charge is going to be used on the ice. Remember, he has GA, gets flicked back by Caps. It's nice as he goes into the GA for BDS. Trying to finish the job. Adam with a double body slam. Might have done it. Nuke helps out as well. Meanwhile, on the back line, Yikes doing all he can to slow this aggression. But it's Nuke's story from this team fight we're going to focus on. As Shara runs down his counterpart, BDS will do the final touch. And it's not just a case of G2 finding a come back bds still hit hard with their team fights they still came here to play and we're going the distance in this series as we find ourselves sitting in a one for one scores be damned curse be damned bds are here dagda they're here in this upper bracket final
BDS will deliver G2 their first loss in the spring 2024 playoffs. And honestly, what a manner to do it in. Ice has been incredible across the course of these two games. And this time on the Lucian Nami, getting BDS to play around them, getting the picks that they need, and finding the objectives to close out this game. Well, G2 being tested and BDS finally...